Have you ever traveled by bus? Maybe you've gone on a trip by bus with your family or friends, or maybe you go to school by bus every day. If you've ever been on a bus, you should know that it makes a lot of stops throughout its ride. Some people leave the ride while others join. So, there was a bus that traveled for two hours before stopping the first time. Then it traveled for another three hours a second time, and for one hour before stopping a third time. And it was eight o'clock in the evening. At what time did the bus depart? So we don't know what time the bus started. We know it arrived at its destination at eight o'clock. It traveled for two hours, three hours, then one hour. To know what time it started, we need to go back in time. We will start at eight and go back one hour. It's seven o'clock. Then three hours. One, two, three. It's four o'clock. Then we'll go back two hours. One, two. It's two o'clock. The bus started at two o'clock. This timeline represents a clock. We have 12 numbers on a clock, and each number is an hour. This is our clock. In this math module of Madrasati, we will count backwards. It might be easy to count from 1 to 100, but what if I asked you to count from 100 to 1, or from 974 till 934? Can you do it? Let's move from a bus station to the airport. The plane arrived at its destination at 8 o'clock p.m., meaning at night. It flew for 11 hours. What time did the plane depart? Let's go backwards in time, 11 hours backwards, starting at 8 o'clock. Remember that the clock is a timeline that contains 12 numbers only. So as we go backwards, before 12 midnight comes one o'clock at night, and before 12 noon comes one o'clock in the afternoon. So eight o'clock, seven o'clock, six o'clock, five o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, 12 noon, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, nine a.m. in the morning. The plane departed, it started at nine o'clock in the morning. It flew for 11 hours and landed at eight o'clock at night. Counting backwards is a skill we use in our daily lives. We can also use it when we want to know what time we started working on our homework or how long we spent at our friend's house or how long it took the cake to bake in the oven. When we count backwards, would we be adding or subtracting? What do you think? Let's find out together. Wael is meeting his friend at the library at 7.45. It takes him 30 minutes to get to the library. At what time should he leave his house? Look at this timeline. It shows the time from seven o'clock to eight o'clock every 15 minutes. So, Wael has to be at the library at 7.45. He needs to leave his house 30 minutes before this time. We will begin at 7.45 and go back 30 minutes. What's 45 minus 30 minutes? So we should go backwards 15 minutes twice. This clock shows the time 7.45. Let's go backwards 30 minutes. It stops at 7.15. Wael needs to leave home at 7.15 to reach his destination at 7.45 after 30 minutes. When we count backwards, we subtract. When we count backwards by 10, for instance, we subtract by 10. Let's try it together. Let's practice counting backwards by hundreds, by fifties, and by tens, my friends.
at this subtraction sentence. All numbers are three digit, meaning they are in hundreds. To subtract, we will count backwards in hundreds. 900 minus 100 is 800. Minus 400, 700. 600, 500, 400. Minus 300, 300, 200, 100. The answer to this subtraction sentence is 100. At a bus station, there is a shop that sells water bottles. This line graph shows the number of water bottles sold that day. Look at it carefully and tell me how many bottles were sold in the morning. 100 bottles. How many bottles were sold at noon? 250 bottles. How many bottles were sold in the afternoon? 50 bottles. And how many are sold in the evening? 300 bottles. Now that we've read the line graph, let me tell you that there were 700 water bottles at the beginning of the day. How many were left at night? So, there were 700 bottles and in the morning, 100 were sold, 100 were taken away. We need to subtract. At noon, 250 bottles were sold. We subtract another 250. In the afternoon, 50 bottles were sold and in the evening, 300 bottles were sold. They were taken away. Let's subtract. We will go backwards by 100s and by 50s at times. Count with me. 700 minus 100 is 600. Minus 250. 250 is made from 250. 500, 400, 350. 350 minus 50 is 300. Minus 300, 200, 100, zero. No water bottles were left at the end of the day. They were all sold. A bus has 80 passengers. 32 people get off at the first stop and 20 at the second stop. How many passengers are still in the bus? The number of passengers is decreasing at every stop. We start with the total number, 80 people, and we take away 32. Then we take away 20. We need to subtract or go backwards. Let's begin with 80 minus 32. 32 is made up of 30 and 2. Let's count backwards in tens three times and then go back two numbers. We start at 80, 70, 60, 50, 49, 48, 38, 28 passengers are still on the bus. Let's end our time together with a challenge. Rami baked some yummy chocolate cupcakes last night. He took them out of the oven at 420. The directions say that the muffins need to be baked for 28 minutes. What time did the muffins enter the oven? We should go back 28 minutes or subtract 28 minutes from 420. How do we do that? From 420 till 4 o'clock, that's 20 minutes. We still need to go back 8 minutes. What comes before 4 o'clock? 3.59, because there are 60 minutes in each hour. 60 minutes minus 8 is 52. So the muffins entered the oven at 3.52. Was this a difficult one? Or were you able to guess it? In this module, my friends, we counted backwards and we applied this to time. See you next time. Bye.
لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس